Greetings, Eric Backer, New Zealand naturopath, author of Candida Crusher, formulator of the Candida range of products. Thanks for tuning in today. Well, as you can see, I'm not in my usual room. I've done a really weird thing and I've gone to Las Vegas for some crazy reason. Not to get married, not to get drunk, not to gamble, and not to get a tattoo. I came here for Supply Side. Supply Side is one of the world's greatest uh, shows or expos of raw natural materials. So I'm here to talk to a lot of the world's leading people about how to make the best possible products for people like you out there. There's so much crap on the market, I can't believe how much junk there is. I just attended a very interesting seminar on how the regulations are and how so many people are loose with regulations and fly under the radar and make crappy, crappy products. But anyway, we're not here to talk about gambling or uh, gambling or drinking or all that kind of stuff. We're here to talk about some foods that you should never really eat. And you know the crazy thing? These foods are labeled as health foods, all right? So I want you to sit back and carefully listen to what I've got to say because this is, this is a very important message for you and it could make a massive difference in your health, okay? You're not only going to lose a ton of weight if you follow this advice, you're going to seriously improve your digestive health, your cognitive function, your moods, and you're probably going to add a few years on your life, which is great for people to come to Las Vegas because they spend more money. Have you been to Las Vegas? This place is insane. My wife and I were walking on this thing called the Strip last night, and I think I saw Elvis twice, I saw Batman, I saw everything, and I had a great time. Now, let's get into it. Five foods not to eat that are labeled health foods, okay? Don't fall for the trick that if something's got healthy written all over it, it doesn't mean anything. It's usually suspicious, in fact, if they really promote the health benefits of something. If you're going to pr promote the health benefits of blueberries, all right, it's pretty hard to really inject like steroids into blueberries or to put high fructose corn syrup into a blueberry. And generally, things like blueberries are grown organically. Well, not always, but generally they are. So you're usually going to eat something. So if it grows on the ground, if it grows under the ground, and if it runs around on the ground, you know, and it's alive and it's heart beating and it's raised organically, it's probably going to be okay to eat. All right, so let's get into this. I've made a list here, a cheat sheet as usual. So, five foods to stop eating no matter what. Are you listening still? Diet colas or diet drinks. This is crazy stuff. This stuff is so crappy I can't believe it. So this is a $180 billion a year industry, the diet cola industry, and it's really big. I can remember when I was in my 20s, they had like the cola wars going on. I think Billy Joel had it in one of his songs about Coca-Cola wars and stuff. So Coca-Cola and Pepsi were fighting each other. People were sick of sugar because they heard that sugar makes you fat. But you know what these sneaky guys did? They started putting high fructose corn syrup and artificial sweetness in this drink. All right? It's shocking stuff. You really want to avoid this. So we know now that diet sodas are linked with a much a higher incidence of having a stroke but also of making you fat. A 2004 study involving 150 odd people showed serious obesity and weight increase, uh, but also a strong desire for sugar and sweets. So high fructose corn syrup drives a very strong desire for sweets in the body. In fact, some experts say that it's eight times more addictive than cocaine or heroin, this HFCS or high fructose corn syrup. Fructose in Something like a strawberry or an apple is much healthier than fructose made uh, in a huge factory by a guy in a white coat. Now remember, factories don't run around on the ground or grow out of the ground or grow under the ground. So you shouldn't be eating stuff made in factories. It should be natural stuff. Now you can see why I like to grow a lot of my own food. Right. So we know that diet co uh, colas make you fat. We know that they increase your risk of stroke. Why would you drink this crap? I did an experiment last year because I grow a lot of stuff in my garden. So I got two vegetable seedlings and I kept watering one with Diet Coke and I kept watering one with, you know, good quality water. My kids wondered what the heck I was doing putting Diet Coke on a, on a plant. Within literally three to four weeks, you could see the plant shrivel and die. Now I'm going to do the same exercise this summer because we're in spring in New Zealand now. So I'm going to do the same exercise. I'm going to show you guys in a video the results of the Diet Coke plant and the water plant, and you're going to look at that and see, whoa, why would you drink this crap? It's crap, all right? So try and avoid diet drinks. These are not healthy alternatives. You know what a healthy alternative is to a diet drink? 
It's called water. And if you want a flavoured water, do what I do. Put some lime juice or lemon juice in it. Just try and keep away from high fructose corn syrup and diet drinks in general. Number two, yogurt. I'm blown away in this country. <clears throat> I was in Los Angeles a few days ago and I walked into a shop and I picked up all sorts of foods and to my horror I discovered that so many foods in this country in America contain high fructose corn syrup. I read on one website that up to 60 to 70 percent of all foods in supermarkets contain fructose or high fructose corn syrup. So yogurts, if yogurt tastes really sweet, you'll go, mmm, I like this, this is yummy, I love it. Remember, I've said this before in a video. When people say, I like the taste of that, what are they referring to? They're referring to sugar. Okay, ooh, that tastes nice, it means it's sweet. Yogurt's not meant to be sweet. Yogurt's meant to be sour. Okay, sour. If it doesn't taste sour, it ain't yogurt. If it tastes sweet, it's been pasteurized. Pasteurizing means it's been heated up. You've killed all the bacteria in this stuff. Why would you want to eat a food, okay, that starts off really natural, but then they fry the heck out of it by pasteurizing it, then they put sugar in it, and then they call it healthy. Wake up. Yogurt in those little containers that taste sweet is crap. Do what I do. Make your own yogurt at home. Yeah, Eric, that's okay for you. You've got enough time. Well, I can tell you now, you're making a big mistake. If you're going to be eating those small containers of yogurt, you know, labeled as healthy, and they taste sweet, you're only fooling yourself. Okay? The biggest uh, problem with a lot of people uh, is they fool themselves. All right? So think about it. Are you fooling yourself and kidding yourself by thinking that it's healthy? Then it's pretty sad if you're fooling yourself. All right? Not a good idea. So many of them contain uh, very, very high levels of sugar. So if you're finding a small container that contains uh, uh, 20 grams or over of sugar, forget it. A small amount of sugar in yogurt is quite natural, but when you exceed anything 16 to 20 grams, it's been dumped in there. So read the label. Read the label. Right. Next one. Wheat bread. So some leading brands also contain high fructose corn syrup. I had a look at lots of different breads in the supermarket and I was shocked to see how much sugar is in put in bread. High fructose corn syrup. Again, not a good idea. A 2004 study uh, in America linked the inclusion of high fructose corn syrup in bread to a sharp rise in obesity. So just be careful with bread. Just because it's whole wheat or like natural or stone ground it doesn't mean it's healthy. I don't eat any bread in my diet at all anymore. I just had a wonderful salad downstairs. Uh, at the resort I'm staying in, it was a beautiful organic green salad with balsamic vinegar and it had like fresh olive oil on it and I had a couple of bits of grilled organic chicken on that. It was beautiful. And what did the lady next to me have? A big bowl of fries and then a glass of wine. All right? And this is like 11 o'clock or half past 11 during the day. I'm surprised she didn't have a cigarette in the hand at the same time. All right? Sorry I'm sounding dramatic, but I'm just really taken back by what people are eating, what I'm seeing out there, what people are eating. It's actually quite disturbing. High fructose corn syrup is 20 times sweeter than sugar. Now what fructose does, or high fructose corn syrup, especially if it's not a natural form, all right, it fools the brain. It starts messing real bad with a couple of hormones. All right? The two hormones in particular is leptin, which is the I'm full hormone. So leptin starts getting really giving the body mixed signals when, when this syrup is in the body. Okay? And the other one is called ghrelin. And ghrelin is the I'm hungry hormone. So when you're messing with the I'm full and the I'm hungry pathways, your body can't really work out what's what anymore. And all you want is to eat is sweet stuff and sweet stuff and sweet stuff. So if you're going for candies and diet drinks and muesli bars, which we'll talk about in a minute, and you want sweet stuff, your butt's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, your tummy's going to get bigger and bigger. The amount of people I've seen in, in Vegas here that have got tummies on them, it's amazing they can walk. They should be rolling around the place. Right? So these hormones really mess up the brain and they confuse pathways. They could lead to depression, anxiety, obesity, sleeping disorders, you know, and that's only for starters. So high fructose corn syrup really forces you to eat more. So that's that one. Now what else are we talking about? We're talking about muesli bars. That's another one. Another really uh, gripe I've got. So many people think that muesli bars are healthy. Read the label, folks. I looked at several types of muesli bars when I was in a health food shop. 
and I was surprised to see that the ingredients included sugar as the primary ingredient, high fructose corn syrup, corn syrup, honey, sugar, 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 sugar. So again, oh, I like the taste of that muesli bar. That tastes really nice. And it's good for me because it's got nuts in it. Yeah, right. If we took that muesli bar to a lab and analyzed it, it's probably about 30% sugar in that bar. Okay? Throw the bars away. You don't need bars. Eat an apple like I do. Eat something fresh. You might actually look healthy and like a human being if you start eating fresh, healthy foods. When you eat crap, you look like you got it. Crap. So, muesli bars are not really healthy. You can make them at home. It does take a little bit of time, and you can put a lot of natural ingredients in there and make very healthy muesli bars. I used to make them a lot when my kids were little. I keep bees, I've got honey, and I add that with things like oats and nuts and seeds, and it's very easy to make beautiful, healthy muesli bars. All right? Salad dressings, another gripe I have. I make all my own salad dressings at home because I can't stand the crap you buy in the shop. Now, what has it all got in it? Sugar, sugar, sugar. Crappy oils, rancid fats, all sorts of crap in these products. And people pour this on salads. It's amazing. When I had a look at the, at the salad dressings downstairs at the, at the cafe where the, the guy is going to serve me, he's going to pour this junk on it. I said, whoa, 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 just put a little bit of balsamic on there and a little bit of olive oil. Oh, my God, sir, most people won't eat that in this country. I said, why not? Because it doesn't taste good. What is he implying? Remember what we said about taste? Sugar. Try to get used to eating less sugar in your diet. Why? Because you're going to be less wired. You're going to have a better functioning gut. You're not going to crave sugar. You're going to lose weight easier. And you're actually going to look like a, a nice human being when you get to my age, right? Not like a big fatty. So be careful. And the other thing with sugar is it's going to disturb the microbial balance of your gut. You're going to get bloating, burping, farting, constipation, irritable bowel syndrome. If you analyze the sugar content in your diet right now, you would be shocked to see how much sugar you really eat. So if you've struggled with weight for years, if you struggle with gut problems, if you struggle with like, you know, anxiety, depression, or mood swings, or can't think properly, please, please do this one thing for me, is analyze the high fructose corn syrup in your diet, the sugar content in your diet in particular, because it can make all the difference in the world. Low sugar content, healthy gut. Healthy gut great health, right? Which leads me on to the last thing I'm going to leave you with. If you have got issues with your gut, check out my Canzita Remove. <clears throat> Canzita Remove was created as a very nice microbial balancing formulation. So it's going to help to clean up the gut and remove unwanted levels of high bacteria. It's going to kill off any yeasts in there and reduce the ability for parasites to really take hold. Check out Canzita Restore. It's an enzyme probiotic formula that's really going to help to restore the function of the gut again. So just a couple of quality supplements and some diet changes. Like if you just took out those five foods from your diet right now, the difference in your health within three to six months is going to be absolutely amazing. And you're going to love me for that. Now, I'm going to go back downstairs and do some more gambling. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. No, not really. I don't like gambling. It was a gamble enough coming here through all the security, you know, going from LA. So I'll catch up with you in the next video. Take care and have a great day. Thank you.